It's time for Highlands basketball. Tonight from Highlands, the Highlands Golden Rams in a non-section game host the Bishop Canavan Crusaders, along with the Dean Mike Choma, Jordan Tavares, uh, whoever else is in the picture. This is Mike Pavlik, Mike Choma here, Kean Foster upstairs. Uh, Dean, uh, Saturday we were at uh, Armstrong and played Obama Academy in a non-section game. What did we learn from that one? Well, we said before the game, Mike, we're still trying to find out who we are. And what we found out that night, we're a pretty good team when we do things the right way. We went from the good to the better to the best pass. We got 50 from the big three, Foster, Regard, Tavares, and then we got 20 from the other three, Tommy, Ali, and Troy Bila. That's the magic combination, 70 points, but the most important thing is nobody forced a shot. We need more of that. I was afraid coach was going to trip over our court and you never missed a beat. That was very pretty impressive. Bishop Canavan comes in here tonight. They're seven and six overall, but they are four and zero, oh, undefeated in first place in section two two A. Damian Cornish is the new coach, replacing the legendary Tim McConnell. Well, Mike, it's interesting the fact that they are. Well, Mellon. Mellon. He did a three sixty in a JV game. He almost did a three sixty here too. But they lost six in a row, Mike. And talked to coach, and he said they they played all way games. They had their football players coming back. Now they've won six of their last seven, so we don't know what team we're going to get here tonight. But again, Canavan always comes prepared, and they've got an interesting lineup, as you'll see when we go through the stars. We've got an international flair tonight. A, a little bit. And by the way, you know, Mellon's always said he wanted to get on TV. I think he did our He just did a, uh, the, the, the little Pratt fall there to try to get on. All right, so, of course, elephant in the room is that Hampton's going to be here on Friday, and we start the second half of the section. Are you looking ahead? Well, Mike, everybody is. they got to admit it. You're going to admit it, but we want to play well here tonight to get ready for that game. Think about the section. It's not done yet, Mike. We've got the two teams in front of us, Knock and Hampton, coming here. We also know what they do. So, again, we can take those things to our advantage. We're right back in there. And, again, I don't think this team's going to look forward tonight, but they'll be ready for Friday. I think that's probably the best that we can hope for tonight. Bishop Canavan and Highlands, the Rams won out there a year ago. Let's see if they can uh, repeat that feat. Highlands, Canavan coming right up with the tip. Stay tuned. All righty, you see the Bishop Canavan Crusaders starting lineups tonight brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting in Natrona Heights. To beautify and protect, call 724-224-2851. They'll start number two, Jason Cross, a six foot one senior. Number three, Mike Jason Maddox, six foot freshman, point guard. Number four is Drew Allen, six two sophomore. And their big man in the middle, number 11, Daniel Guzman, 6'6", six, six junior. He's from Ecuador, Mike. There's your international flavor. Yeah, there you go. And the returning starter from last year, number 24, Michael Vaughn, a 6'2", senior. The Ecuadorian. I love it. Um, <laughs> Canavan, as we mentioned, comes in 7-6, and six, but they are 4-0 and oh in section, a section that they won a year ago under Tim McConnell and had a nice playoff run, but they lost five seniors. And again, their first-year coach, Damon Cornish, came from Propel Braddock Hills. Let's take a look at the Highlands Golden Rams starting lineup. Number two is Ali Sharif, six foot junior, averaging five points a game. Number zero, Cameron Regard, six two senior, averaging 17 points a game. Six foot two inch senior, number four, playing forward is Tommy Callender. And our big guy in the middle, 15, is Braden Foster, 6'8", senior, averaging 22 a game. And 20, over 20 points, five straight games. And number 23, Jordan Tavares, 6'1", senior, averages 14 points a game. And, Mike, we have Mark Emerling refereeing along with Jeff Units and Mike Polinski. Jeff Units, Mike, we did his game when he played. Oh, yeah. Played for Latrobe. How about that? And he remembers us doing his game and he remembers Damon Porter. Oh, how about that? I said he just got married. He looked at me like, good for him. <laughs> Speaking of Latrobe, Lincoln Riley's there tonight for their basketball game. How's that? Why would that He's be? He's hanging serious? out with Alex Tatch. Every, everybody in the world's recruiting that kid, including Lincoln Riley at USC. Obviously. Yeah. So we're set to go. And... Again, this is the last 
non-section game here during break, during the section break. We'll have others. We have to make up uh, a Deer Lakes game and a Kiskey game, so those will be coming upon us later on. Starting lineups brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting, celebrating 45 years in business. They got you covered. The Rams win the tap and move left to right in their home white uniforms. Only their fifth home game of the year. Ali Sharif into Foster. Free guard, Sharif lets it go. Three down, Ali, three nothing Highlands. And again, Mike, right in the flow of the game. You got all that. The Rams are three and one here this year and have won 23 of their last 26 games on this floor. Canada, same situation, Mike. They only have six home games. So they're playing tough games on the road. They had a bunch of them at the beginning of January, and that's where they got that six game winning streak. This is Allen, number four. You mentioned Damian Cornish in his first season. He's been around, he was an assistant to Plum for a while. Here's Michael Vaughn out front of circle. And you know else on that Plum staff, Mike? Chuck Franklin, remember him from Perry? Chuck Franklin, well, you know why? Because he was his coach in high school at Perry. Yeah, how about that, small world, huh? Yeah. Chuck was a great guy. Yeah. Vaughn with a spin move, now lets it go. It's wide left, the tip is loose. Comes back underneath, shot is missed. Foster has it as Guzman couldn't finish it. Foster back the other way with the Rams leading it three to nothing and now the steal by Vaughn. He goes all the way home, lays it up and missed it. Rebound put up and in by Jason Cross. Three to two. Converted that turnover. They're gonna pressure Mike Diamond and one. This should hopefully end up Quickly with get it to Foster to regard, reverse layup is missed. Sharif's just going to get it out of there now. Work it back to Tavares. His three balls off the rim. He chased it down, though, and saved it in the corner. Great hustle. And they're going to say it's deflected out of bounds by the Crusaders, and it's Highlands basketball. Foster out to get it. Kind of defense they're playing. 2-3, Mike. Regard. They're very active defensively. You can see they get to use their arms and trap out of it. Oh, Sharif just walked right down the lane and put it up and in, and he's got all five Highlands points. He hit the soft spot in a 2 3 right in the middle, Mike. 5 to 2, Golden Rams. Jason Cross. Now is Cross got in, dumped it off to Allen, and he put it down. The sophomore has his first two, and it's 5-4. Allen just had position that time on Tavares. Two on one again, Mike. And Regard's going to ball. He was going to shoot it, but he passed it down to Foster, and Foster got hacked. And B will go to the line and shoot a pair. Can't fool everybody, I think, including Brayden. I think he might have. I, I wasn't sure what he was going to do when he got up there. Joe Lucchino and his son Joseph proudly welcome you to Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group, serving the AK Valley for decades. The Lucchinos are a broad based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you and your business. Life changes as your needs change, and that's what makes life insurance protection that offers flexibility a must. Joe and Joe always know. 2318 Freeport Road next to Donut Connection or call 724 224 8908 or 724-905-7583. Why wait? Let the Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group put you on the road to financial stability today. Foster made it both, 68% free throw shooter. Vaughn out of the corner. Reset it, reset it. Hey, go Kansas again. Hey, reset it, go Kansas again. Out to Vaughn. It's there. Vaughn guarded closely by Sharif. Now worked it over to Maddox. Maddox got into the paint, threw a left-hander up, around, no good. Had a soft look at it, but Callender's able to pull the rebound out of there. Maddox, Mike, is a pitcher, has five D1 offers, he's only a freshman. How about that? I think you said the magic word, left-handed. And a three by Regard is missed, but Sharif is able to get it, though. Ali goes in with that little teardrop, it's no good. And pulled out of there by Cross. Yeah, I was just talking to Tom Kunst about Jimmy and uh, some of the things he's doing up at Eastern Michigan. So pitching's the way to go. They're looking for arms all over. Nice move by Cross in the paint. He's got four. Seven to six. And you saw the slider numbers and they're impressive. They are, very much. I said he was throwing a slider, I think he said 76 miles an hour. The average major league slider is 80. I mean, he's almost at that and he's a freshman. 
And just drop it, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's some movement. Sharif again, got bumped, but put it in anyway. And it's the all E Sharif show early. He's got seven, and How it's nine, nine six. How about that? He gets shut out at knock, and he came back with a nice game on Saturday. Maybe it's that haircut, Mike. Maybe. Allen, fall away. Oh, that's pure. And it's 9-8. Three guards. Mike, they're just letting B have the baseline. Oh, and shot was missed and rebounded by Maddox. It's two on one, Cam and B every time. When they break that diamond on one. Keyword is one. There's one. only one back there for two. Crusaders can take their first lead. Allen kicked it back out for Guzman. Now left side to Vaughn. Out to cross. He lets it go. It's wide right. Highlands basketball. Hey, wide right. Hey, the two words they hate here in Buffalo. Dean, this might be a night. Hey, if they switch like that, go to Drew. Where you really might want to look to play some zone. Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of shooters they are from the outside. And it wouldn't hurt us to practice a little bit. No, for it wouldn't. I, just what I've seen so far, I wonder. It looks like it could give us a little trouble off the dribble. Regard out to Sharif. 2.45 left first quarter. Rams lead 9-8. Inside to Foster. He's triple teamed. And it's he throws it off a Bishop Canavan player out of bounds. That's what he did against uh, Obama the other day, Mike. Early on, they collapsed on him and triple team. Then by the end of the night, they were just fronting him. Look oh, at. great tap pass from Foster to Tavares with the finish. And he saw that coming all the way. He saw him coming right from out of bounds and tapped it right to him. Didn't have to catch it. And it's 11-8 Highlands. That's where the triple team came back to haunt him, Mike. Mm -hmm. Nobody accounted for Jordan. Allen. Oh, great steal by Regard. Climbed the ladder and pulled it in. Two on one. Oh, and they came back and got a piece of it. But Regard's going to wow. shoot it anyway, and he got fouled. And Cam will go to the line, 74%. Rams leading at 11-8. Well, Mike, winter's here, although we're going to get some rain this week. But it's going to warm up. better time to stop in the Highland Tire, Highland Integrity Alignment. Your family owned and operated hometown choice for tires in the AK Valley. Highland Tire offers one of the largest and most complete inventory of tires and custom wheels in the Pittsburgh area. Don't see it, ask for it, they'll order. Visit HighlandTire.com or call and trim at 724-224. 9222 in the Toronto Heights at 724-224-7900 or Highland Integrity Alignment 724-224-5900 Highland Tire service integrity price they deliver since 1961 Cam Regard makes one out of two the Rams lead at 12-8 Rams three for four so far shooting 81% free throws here at home this year that's down from 90 yeah it is last game hurt him <laughs> cross missed the shot foster the rebound out to Tavares Rams want to push it Corner to Regard. Here it comes. Off the rim. And rebounded in the corner by Canavan's Jason Cross. He goes all the way to the basket, missed the shot, and Sharif chased it down. Against the double team, but he gave it away, and Vaughn put it in. Second highest turnover, and Canavan's converted both of them. 12-10. Regard again, got right around Guzman and put it in. 14-10. Matches the Rams' biggest lead at four. Hey, 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 go shoot! All the way! All the way! Vaughn <laughs> plays catch with Cross. Calling for Duke all the way. That normally means a couple passes are involved before you finish. Duke all the way, that means you lose to Pitt when you shouldn't. <laughs> That's what that it was. That was a crazy game the other day. I enjoyed it. Vaughn, three ball is air ball. Tavares the rebound with a minute to go. Ball is tipped. Jordan got it back. Sharif right side. Kicked it back out to Foster. He's going to let a three go. It's off the back rim, but there's Sharif. Great job. Foster all the way down. No foul. No foul. Belak got a piece of it. He's battling for it down there. You'll like to see it. And a jump ball. Era belongs to the Crusaders. In that pit game, Mike, fouled a jump sh shooter with a four-point lead with four seconds to go. It gave him three shots. And they tried to give that game away. And the refs tried to give it to Duke also. They yeah. did all they could, too. It was painful, but a victory is a victory. Hinton taking some heat for jumping on the table. I might have, too. Remember uh, Pudgy Elamine at uh, UConn doing that at the, at the peak. 
would you? Would they, they be pitting a big one? Foster the rebound. Rams with the ball. 35 seconds. Tavares for court. Belak baseline. Oh, they're, they're going to call a charge. Foul, yep. Yep. Good call, Mike. Mark Emmerling with the call there. 28 seconds. Gave him the old arm bar. High in the third turnover. First foul against the Rams. Ken was like, committed one in the first quarter. Pitt with a slim lead at Georgia Tech tonight. Now, everybody that's a Pitt fan completely expects him to lose tonight. It's usually the, I call it pitting. It's a verb. It is. Billing I had for the Bills on Sunday. It was definitely billing on the Bills play. Vaughn into the paint, got around Regard, put it up and scored. What a move that was by Michael Vaughn. 14-12, six seconds. Rams got a hurry. Regard goes all the way in, dumps it off to Foster, and he puts it in at the buzzer. A baby dunk. Well, and that's and that's Regard there with the, a little bit of uh, senior know-how. He knew exactly how much time was left. He knew he had enough time to get it down there and uh, ended up with the easy basket rather than trying to take a desperation heave instead. So the Rams lead it. 16 to 12. Harvest Moon Coffee and Chocolates is dedicated to serving great La Prima Espresso coffee and hand-dipped small batch candy using the finest Belgian dark and milk chocolates. And now with two locations, downtown Trenum and at the Heights Plaza in Natrona Heights. Born out of love for great chocolate, remarkable coffee, and a sense of giving back to the community, Harvest Moon Coffee and Chocolates has a mission of providing uniquely delicious products while serving as a gathering place for friends and family. Come experience a one-of-the-kind coffee and chocolate experience at 206 Corbett Street, Trenum, or 1705 Union Avenue, Natrona Heights. They're open weekdays till 5 and weekends till 3. Check out their website at harvestmoonc2.com. Drink coffee, eat chocolate, be kind. Mike, last year we beat them 93-79 out at Bishop Canham, and they had a cool court that was made of all the two-by-fours. Yes. And in that game, was Shea Champagne, was that his first name? Champagne. Champagne, well, I call him Champagne because, because of uh, Jose, his family's right? Relative. 49 in that game, and it was a quiet 49, huh? It, it kind of was. The Rams, uh, how about that? That was a 25-24 third quarter. The yeah. Rams were, were 49 points scored in the third quarter of that game. Cam had a big night that night. Yeah, right? he did. He, he had seven threes, 29 points, his career high. We'll have some Chartier's Catholic high school trivia for you later. What, what was the, that's what that's what Bishop Canavan was originally called. Coaches tell me before the game that uh, they saw last year's game and he was commenting how Camp can shoot from the PIA point. But yeah, yeah, he's a logo shooter. Now they get there it back goes. and Regards open. He lets it go. It's off the front iron. Tipped by Belak. Tavares had a piece of it. But it's Drew Allen with those long arms. He's never going to get a more open shot than that one, right? Four-point Rams lead. 30 seconds in to the second quarter. In case you need a reminding, Hampton will be here Friday. Everybody will be here. Everybody going to be here Friday. Everybody. It's going to be. It's going to be warm outside. It's going to be in the 50s. Oh, goes past. Stolen by Belak. Second it's turnover. And Pilak takes it all the way to the basket and put it in. So my suggestion, anyone that's coming to the game Friday, don't overdress. It's going to be warm. It's going to be hot. Hey, go Ohio, Mike. 18-12, Islands by six. Mike, the knock at Hampton game was the sellout this year. How about that? Cross, two against two. Cross got right around. Uh, Ali and went to the basket and scored. He's got six, and it's 18-14. There we go. Three guard is open. He lets it fly, and he drains it from the left side. Again, by getting that two-on-one situation every time, you can either shoot it or dump it down to B. Second from downtown for Highlands. We, we had made all those points about they had allowed 32 in their previous three games. Obama only had two. Vaughn missed it. He was not cheating. You see that, Mike? Yep. Cross had it blocked by Tavares. Here we go. Three, Three on nine. nine. Ahead to Regard. Puts it up and scores. Cam didn't take a chance on trying to jam that one, Mike. <laughs> oh, and now Cross beat him all down the other way. Or Drew Allen, I'm sorry. He puts it in. And 
Corey Dodge is not happy. He wants a timeout as the Rams fell asleep on defense. They lead it 23-16. Well, Mike, maintaining good health and fitness is more important now than ever. Why not make Greatness Athletic Fitness Center in Trenton your locally owned and operated gym of choice? The right trainer makes all the difference. Gary Nagley and his team of certified trainers will help you reach your, all your fitness goals. Specializing in fitness, personal training, strength training, weightlifting, powerlifting, and even boxing. And they're always open. Just wipe your key card. Greatness Athletic Fitness Center located at 222 East 4th Avenue on the corner in Toronto. Membership start at $30 a month, so give them a call at 724-681-8629 or check them out on Facebook at Greatness Athletics. You see uh, Highlands Bench there with the timeout. Yes, Bishop Canavan started off as Chartiers Catholic High School, but quickly renamed it for the former Bishop of Pittsburgh, Regis Canavan, and that's how they got their name. He was a, the first local Bishop of Pittsburgh, born in Westmoreland County, but he got his first job at St. Mary's in Lawrenceville. That's the first place he was a priest, and that's how Canavan got its name. We'll have more later. Sharif driving in with a runner, and he scores. Ali Sharif on fire. Nine points already, and the Rams lead it 25-16, and now a missed shot. Regard eye quickly. He got shut down, though, by yep. two Crusaders. Stop the ball. Sharif, left side to Tavares. Regard. Drives into the paint. Dumps it, try to dump it down to Foster. Yeah, they're going to call an offensive foul. Cam's going to get that one, Mike. He put his eye on B to give him the ball, and unfortunately, the defender slipped in underneath. It's a good call. First uh, foul on uh, Regard tonight. Fourth Highlands turnover. Average 10 a game, force 12. Now here's Vaughn. 25-16. This play is UMass. And the old circle play. Vaughn goes all the way through and a foul. I think that's on the floor. The coach is encouraging that everything is downhill, keep going. I want to go to the basket. They're playing. North-South basketball, Mike, and that's Daniel, usually it. pretty effective. Damian Corners, we mentioned he went to Perry. Went to Duquesne, where he played football. Didn't play basketball, there was a football player. Maddox, his first basket of the night. And it's 25-18. Tavares, four court. Right side to Ali, now Regard. Nice pass. Sharif dumped down to Foster and they knock it away. Highlands will keep it though. Daniel Guzman back in the lineup, replacing Drew Allen. Off the inbound and Regard rattles it home from deep on the left wing. Another three. He's got double figures now with 11. Vaughn, the crossover move, back out to Cross. Give it to the Cross stops and pops and settles for him. He's got eight. Cross, Mike, he's back. a West Virginia football recruit. As a sophomore still. Come on, Dean. Oh, he's a senior, I'm sorry. Foul. Wow, yes, man. sir. Daniel Guzman going to pick up his first. So this will be Braden Foster at the line. Two for two from there tonight. Boucher family's been in business in Atrona Heights for over 70 years, and they're uniquely qualified to help you choose home and auto insurance that protects what matters most, your family. The Bouchers are independent agents. In addition to Nationwide, they're working with all the leading companies in the industry. Call your hometown independent agents, John and Nick, 724-224-4300. And hi, Mel, by the way. Choose the coverage that's right for your family. They have evening and Saturday hours for your convenience. Remember, in the AK Valley, you're in good hands with the Bouchers on your side. Oh, well, that one rolled out of there. In and up. Foster made one out of two, and the Rams' lead is nine. Swing it. On, Back out to cross. Put it on the floor. Kicked it over to a wide open Maddox. His three is missed. And Tavares could not control it. He lost it out of bounds. Hey, go Duquesne. Duquesne. Shoot, this one's named after Duquesne. He named one after the alma mater. All of that is alma mater. <laughs> Here's Guzman. 
One is Damar Olds. Or I'm sorry, Rakeem Hawkins. Here's Vaughn. And now it's a three from the left side is drained by Cross. And he's got 11. That matches the number he had in their last game against the Neighborhood Academy, where it was not a beautiful day in the neighborhood for Bishop Canavan that day. Turn around by Tavares, and it goes for him. That's soft, that soft spot, yep. yep, right there. And that time, Jordan, instead of passing it, decided he was going to let it go. He's got four. 31-23. Mike, we're not following rule number one in basketball. Stop, Stop the, the ball. ball. Yeah, we got it. Michael Vaughn, 6'2", senior, now with six. He's going to grow city. Going to play basketball up there. Soft spot. Severus again. He's just going to keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, hey. Still a stop, but that's the soft spot in the 2 3. He's got six now. 33 25 is the team's trade best. Very similar to last year. There was just a lot of offense. There was. 93 7. They don't have Shea Champagne right now, so that helps us. Cross got shut off, kicked it back, and Hawkins lost it for a second. But is able to control it, gets it back. Shut off by counter. Oh, right what hands. a play. Whoa, what by Sharif. Right Watch Watch that one again, he puts it in. That was all Ali Sharif, Mike. Tipped it away, then controlled it, then threw a beautiful pass. He's having a heck of a game tonight. Yeah. And getting better as the year goes on. Guzman with a hook shot. We were commenting the other day, you don't see a hook shot in high school very much, commenting about Braden Foster. But Daniel Guzman brought one all the way from Ecuador. <laughs> Canavan going man to man now. See if B can take the guy from Ecuador. And now we're going to get a blocking foul as Foster is fouled. That's a second foul against the Crusaders here, second quarter. The uh, bench here wants a hook on B. Yeah, that time. well, Mike, he did kind of give him the old, uh, not the arm bar, he put his arm around him to get a little leverage. B Lack comes in. Tommy sits down. Two minutes left, first half. Rams 35, Crusaders 27. After they were Chartiers Catholic and then just Canavan High School, they went to Canavan Catholic High School because they were afraid that people didn't know they were a Catholic school. So they did that in the 80s. And then they went to Bishop Canavan High School, and that's where they are now. So that's when they got promoted. <laughs> Great move by Tavares on the Euro step, but he couldn't finish it and cross yeah, the other way. Right. Kicked it out to Vaughn. Vaughn gave up his dribble. Oh, he cut right through the double team. Couldn't get it to go, but got his own rebound. And now there's going to be a foul on Foster. Late call there. <laughs> so Vaughn will shoot. Foster gets his first foul. Missed the first, he'll get another. 129 to go, first half. The Rams lead at 35-27. Vaughn will get another. And it is off the back iron. Missed them both. Sharif the rebound, lead it ahead to Regard. Thought he was going to. Got bumped a little bit, but got it back to Sharif. Now Tavares for three off the rim. Foster rebound up, missed it. Foster will get another one. There he you go, that finally. Time. Yep. All right, don't you hate it when you have a vision to improve your home and no one to help you achieve it? You can find a contract and a work that delivers unsatisfactory? Put those concerns aside and make your next call to your neighbor, Beanie Home Renovations. Take the first step making your vision come true. Call 724-3513172. To set up a free estimate or visit BeanieHomeRenovations.com. Beanie Home Renovations, where the B is always busy. Speaking of B, Braden Foster makes his first. And he'll get another. Rams lead at 36 27. This can be their biggest lead if he makes this. In and out, but Tavares is there. Tavares going right back up. Oh. It won't go, but Jordan will shoot too at 113. Great hustle by Tavares there to get that rebound. Tavares now, 63%. Oh, 
Missed the first, they'll get another. Missed four foul shots already. Now we have a question over at the scorer's table. We do, so we're, Mark Gammerling is over there to take a look at it and see, what, uh, see what's going on. I think there's a question on how many fouls second quarter. And again, I don't know that it mattered because it was, was that a shooting foul? I think it was. Yeah, what happened, Mike, is number five. All right, they figured it out. Who I don't have. But he's out there. Yes, he played in the JV game. Jordan missed it. And he got the rebound. Oh, we can ask our friend next door who was there at halftime. We'll figure it out. There's a cross jumper that's no good. And B just blocked it out. And Pont's standing out of bounds. What Foster did that time was he just blocked out his man, didn't make the move. There was no way anybody could get to it before it went out of bounds. Jordan missed two there, huh? He did. One minute to go. First half. Rams with the ball in a nine-point lead. Their second one of those, Tavares. Guarded by Cross. Over to Belak. Corner to Regard. Regard drains the three. He's having a night. He's got 16. He likes these guys. Now they quickly get it over to Jackson Maddox. His three is up around. Boy, that was soft, huh? Oh, well, he's had well, all he got three guard down. Or yeah, he, he got, got fouled. fouled is what happened. Here's Cross. 22 seconds. Hey, they can get a two for now. The ball and the arrow. Rams lead by 12. That's their biggest, call for a last shot. Their biggest lead of the game. Maybe on set it, set it. Cross, seven seconds, put and it inside, and an offensive foul. Jordan Tavares takes the charge. That's the fifth foul. However, the uh, player oh, control yeah. still uh, still in effect. Hans has plenty of time to get a shot off here, Mike. Tavares goes down there, one second. No foul. Up at the, I guess not. They let that one go. They're letting them play, right? As the first half comes to an end and the Rams with a 12-point lead. B&J Sports, outfitting our local teams and the great sports fans of the AK Valley for more than six decades. Look no further than B&J Sports for all your sporting goods needs. Glenn Mills and his friendly staff provide that personal touch from customized high school jackets to team uniforms, trophies, plaques, any kind of sports equipment. You just can't beat the service at B&J Sports. b and is located at 1605 Freeport Road, Natrona Heights, and they're open 9 to 5.30 weekdays and Saturdays or give them a call, 724-226-2762. There's something to be said for longevity, and six decades says it all. B&J Sports. Your halftime score, Highlands 39, Bishop Canavan 27. We'll be back with stats and more right after this. All right, we are back at halftime, and the Highlands Golden Rams leading the Bishop Canavan Crusaders, 39-27 at the break. Halftime stats are brought to you by Mason Elite. Being elite starts at any age. We train our players to be the best basketball players on the court and the best versions of themselves off the court. Well, Mike, Cam Regard likes those Bishop Canavan uniforms. He's got 16, and he came in tonight with 926, so quick math puts him at 952, 48 points away from 1,000. And Braden Foster has six. Ollie Sharif come out fast in the first quarter. He's got nine. Jordan Tavares has six. And Troy Bielek has two. Braden Foster, six. Total of 39. 39 for the Rams and 27 for the Crusaders. Broke down this way. Jason Cross with 11. Six for Drew Allen. Six for Michael Vaughn. Two for Jackson Maddox and two for Daniel Guzman. That's their total of 27. The Rams lead by 12 at halftime. Wire Zones, the largest independent Verizon wireless franchise in America. Our stores offer competitive price on today's most popular smartphone, devices, and accessories with award winning customer service. An eye blazing, fast, and reliable internet is available in your area with Verizon 5G Home. With a simple hassle-free setup, you can install it yourself. No messy wires, no annual contracts, and you get it for as low as $35 a month. Call 724-226-4590. That's 724-226-4590 today. We'll hook you up with a plan that's perfect for you. Or visit Wireless Zone headquarters in the Toronto Heights at the Walmart Plaza or at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. 
All right, so the Rams lead it by 12 at halftime. It's been a spirited game, and I think that's good because a lot of times, you know, you can you can get some sleepy games in situations like this. This has been anything but. Yeah, Mike, uh, again, Cameron, we said we didn't know what team would see. They started out with a win at Keystone Oaks in their opener. Then they lost five away games. They lost to Brashear, Greensburg Central Catholic, Belvern, Avonworth, West A. Then the next six they win, Quaker Valley, Nazareth Prep, Propel Braddock Kills, Farrell, and Eden Christian. Lost their last game, you mentioned at Neighborhood Academy. They average 60 points a game, they give up 61. So Highlands, a little ahead of pace there. We mentioned Tim McConnell was the coach just last year. They made it all the way to the semifinals in the WPIAL before falling to Northgate. And then they won two games in the state playoffs too, beating Clarion Limestone and Mercer before they lost to the Aliquippa Quips. They had a very successful season, but five seniors graduated and kind of a, I wouldn't say it's rebuilding. They've been left with a pretty good team here for Damian Cornish and they're gonna be trouble in 2A. Cross went right down the lane. He couldn't get it to go and Callender just fought it out of there. Here is Tavares trying to get it over to Regard. He threw it off the side of the board. Mike, I did math in my head. I have 942 he has right now, so he needs 50. Don't do math in your head. Write it down. Never a good idea. Here's Cross, out to Vaughn. Tavares with a hand on it, knocked it out of bounds. All the folks checking their 50-50 tickets now. It's that time of the day, huh? <laughs> Vaughn at the Big Ram center circle now takes it right side. He stops, he pops. It's off the rim, took a couple looks. Oh, great play by Drew Allen to get it, and he's going to shoot a couple at 7-10. Thank you, Tommy Counter, for that one, Mike. You were someone you know in the need of physical or occupational therapy, so consider the caring therapist at Phoenix. Physical therapy in Natrona Heights. Zach Bartolotta and his staff specialize in one-on-one -on -one personalized care, coupled with the most up-to-date techniques and equipment in physical therapy. They deal with any type of injury, specializing in sports, orthopedics, vestibular, and workers' comp injuries. And Phoenix now offers women's health and pelvic floor exercise therapy as well. Phoenix will help you with your goal of returning to the activities you love the most. Phoenix Physical Therapy is conveniently located at 1601 Union Avenue in Atrona Heights behind Eaton Park. They have flexible hours for your convenience and accept most insurances, including UPMC. So call today, 724-224-5090 to set up an appointment. And the Rams turn it over. Six turnover. Cross with an acrobatic move, goes up and in. And Mike Jordan was setting him up for the charge, but he went around him. He Good did. Job. Boy, they've converted our six turnovers, Mike. I'll lead to the rack. Yes, sir. He's 11. Double figures with 11. He's got to get near his career high. Breathing on it. Rams back up double figures, 41-30. Here's Vaughn. Got shut off by Sharif. Passed it down to a great play by Allen to get it to Guzman for the finish. Tic-tac-toe. They got a flat foot at that time, Mike. Ali needs a basket. His uh, career high is 12. Boy, Tavares really moved him out with that arm. Yep, couldn't get it to go though. Maddox all the way home, switched hands and put it in. Can't even come out running here, Mike. It's a seven point game, 41-34. 12 down to seven real quick. Foster, Foster's been quiet tonight, only six points. He's had 25 games in a row. Regard from way downtown off the back iron. But Tavares fought it away. He stops and pops Regard again. He settles, and that's two this time. And it's 43-34. Coach Cornish wasn't happy with the rebounding effort there, Mike. Ball hit the floor. That should not happen. But Cam was quick to the ball and converts. Vaughn now gets it back from Guzman, drives into the paint with the right hand. Oh, it fell Everything off. Everything but, huh? Uh-huh. Calendar the rebound. Tavares stops, pops, in and out. Tip regard, no good. They kept it alive. Another tip, but Allen has it. Allen's just going to take Calendar right to the hole, and Tommy played some good defense there. Made the play and got the rebound. 
Sharif, charge. Yeah. Canavan not shy about taking charges, Mike, and that's the seventh Highlands turnover. They've only committed three turnovers. I'm impressed with that. So here's Cross at 4.45. All the way home, off the glass, missed it, and Foster clears. Foster's going to take it all the way to the basket, kick it out to Belak, and he lets it fly. He missed everything. And it's Drew Allen on the weak side. Allen got it to Vaughn. He's going to let a three go. It's in and out. Oh, it took a peek. And Callender's got the rebound. The Rams want to push it. Here Foster. comes Regard. Foster did a great job of keeping that ball alive. He did. Regard goes baseline, but Maddox shut him off. Now Belak will reset things between circles. As the clock winds down to four minutes, third quarter, Highlands by nine. Help him, help him. Be smart, help him. be smart, help Daniel. Help Foster. Straight up, Daniel, straight up. Hope he gets shut off. He's going to have to turn around and let it fly. Oh, and he cans a short little jumper. His first basket of the second half, and it's 45-34. It just shows you his strength, Mike. He was locked down, and he still got that shot off. Cross goes all the way in. Up around and good. He leads the way for them with 15. Two here in the third quarter. 45-36. Foster's going to take Guzman in. Oh, he got around him with a nice move. Well, somebody's going to start to assert himself here, it appears. I think so. <laughs> he now has 10. Him. It's go time. Here's Vaughn. Out to Cross. Oh, Cross with a move, but, well, he stayed with him and played good defense there. And now Callender got a foul number two. Got fouled. It'll be on Jason Cross. Good job on defense that time, Mike, staying with the defender, the offensive player. Great work by Callender, too, yep. by the way. Well, anyway, big win for the girls last night. They beat uh, Knock 56-52 here. They had hang on. Kaylee Nerone hurt her knee in that game, and excuse me, her ankle. Shelby Wojcik filed out, but they held on to win 56-52. We got two more games coming with them. Nice hook shot by Foster won't go. The tip is no good. Rebounded by Cross. Next two Thursdays at home against Derry and home against Dodd, that'll be senior. Maddox gave up the dribble. Back to Cross. Now he's going to let it go. Yeah, he hit wow, it. Mike. He wasn't sure either. No, he, he, he started chasing it the minute he let it go. But it fell in for him. He's got 18. You say he hit it. I'll say he launched it. 47 39. Eight point lead. Not sure. going away. Up, Foster high posting. They collapse on him. Back to Tavares. Got through. Corner. Sharif. Three ball. Missed it. Belak the rebound. Lost it. But Regard has it now. Back to Ali. Goes baseline. Around Allen. And Ali got fouled. Took it right to the hole. It's a very aggressive 2 3 zone. That's a moving screen because he wasn't in the shot. Hey, hey, Coach, you're complaining that, that Tavares is setting a moving screen. I think they're right, Mike. <laughs> so Sharif at the line, 0 for 2. Yes, oh. how you like that one? Suspended animation. That matches his career high of 12. All right, here's for the career high. Ali Sharif, six foot junior. And there you see it. Congratulations, Ali, 13. Two for two. Save a couple of those for Friday, please. Highlands by 10. Their bench complains about every trip. Yeah. And Everyone. You're going to get a few. But Guzman had a block by Foster. No complaints there, Mike. And here comes Regard the other way. There they go again. Regard put it in. You guys could just listen. I'm not making it up. That's 20 for Cam, and it's 51-39. See, eventually what happens is the, ramp, the refs just shut you out. Yeah, exactly. They just tune it out. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm, you know, it's, oh, off the glass with the kiss for Michael Vaughn. He's got eight, and it's 51-41. Boom. Oh. 
Troy Boy, Troy from, Bila. From way downtown. And he's in with five now. And the Rams with their biggest lead, 54-41. That's how you beat a 2-3, Mike, too. Just get in the corner. Just shoot the basketball. And the Rams are doing that tonight. And they've stuck with this 2-3 zone most of the night. We've been playing man most of the night. Oh, great so defense they that foul. They're going to call a two-shot foul on Jordan Tavares at 55 seconds left of the third quarter. If you're planning a vacation or just looking for someone to keep an eye on your dog or cat for the day, then look no further than Pittsburgh Paws Pet Resort. Pittsburgh Paws is located on four acres in Fawn Township with plenty of room to run in a beautiful country setting. Pittsburgh Paws is family owned where the owner lives on site and offers dog and cat boarding, a self-serve dog wash and doggy daycare. Call Pittsburgh Paws today, 724-888-PAWS, that's 7297, or check them out on pittsburghpaws.com. And remember, they're just a half mile off Route 28. Pittsburgh Paws Pet Resort, Pittsburgh's premier family-owned and operated pet care facility. Vaughn makes them both. He now has 10. Less than a minute to go. Hot is up 11. Sharif over to Regard. Highlands has the arrow also. Corner to Foster. He's going to let a three go. Boom. Nothing but nylon. 13 for Braden Foster. And the Rams lead at 57-43. Again, now they're banging those corners on that 2-3, Mike. Cross with a runner in the paint, and it settles. 20 point. And now Damian Cross. Cross calls timeout as he wants to talk things over with 22 seconds left in the third quarter, and the Rams leading at 57-45. to 45. Well, Mike, our local section breakdown. Hampton, they beat Moon on Saturday, 53-52. They host Butler tonight. That should be a good game. Yes, sir. Uh, Knock, 4-1, 11-4 overall. They lost at Armstrong the game after us, 48-46. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They're hosting Kiski tonight. You had them winning that one earlier. Mm -hmm. Again, big one Friday night for us. We host Hampton in the section play, second half reboot. Other, okay. other other ones tonight, East Allegheny is at Freeport. Indiana is at Connellsville. How long do you think that took? That's going to be a ride. And last night, Yawk beat Greensburg-Salem 63-46. to Greensburg-Salem falls to 2-14. and 14. Yeah, Mike, part of that day up at Armstrong, Indiana lost to Newcastle 66-29. I was kind of surprised by that. Okay. Before we get the trivia, which we will get to. Oh, ball tipped out of bounds. Who is the only Canavan athlete to have their number retired at the school? Canavan athlete. Tommy Clements. That's it. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that is it. He was a player. He was. He was a quarterback there. You know, he's still active. He's the quarterback's coach for the Packers still. Notre Dame, right? Yes, sir. Won a national title. Oh, Regard got two men in the air. They call for it. They call for a travel down there, but there was none to be had. 59-45. Ball shot is missed, and Belak has it again. The Rams have the arrow. Regard at three seconds, stops, lets it go. It's in and out. Yep. Maddox got the rebound, and that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Highlands 59, and Canavan 45. And it'll be time for trivia. Brought to you by Unflooded. If your home or business has been damaged by water or mold, you know how stressful that can be. And our friends at Unflooded specialize only in water, sewage, and mold removal, and they're here to help. From broken water pipes to sewer backup or flooding, they have the expertise to get your home dry and ready for repairs. When it comes to mold in your home, they'll assess the situation, put together a game plan for removing the mold and keep it from coming back. Visit unflooded.com or call Brian Mara anytime, 888-650-7767. Unflooded, your family-owned and operated team for emergency water removal in the AK Valley. And Mike, we were talking about it today. Natrona Heights and Natrona, it's a natural stream underneath your house. Mm -hmm. It's not if, it's when water arrives, call B. That is so true. Brian Morrow will come out with Unflooded and take care of you. Simple question, Mike. Four teams have won WPL basketball championships since 2007 in the AK Valley. Who are those four teams? Okay, we know Highlands because it's right up above us. Yep, 2020. It's there, yes. that's one. Uh -huh. The other would be Deer Lakes last year. That is two, 2022. That would be two. Is this just boys we're talking about? Boys. Okay, um, Leechburg. 2007, that's the Wayback Machine for that one. Okay, so who am I missing? 
Happened in 22. They knocked off uh, my Central Catholic team led by Dante DePante. Are we going with uh, Fox Chapel? Fox Chapel. Okay. Because yep. sometimes they count AK, sometimes they don't. I Very count good, him. Mike. Four for four. Sharif, oh, climbing the ladder as regard. And now, boy, they really extended it to three. They have. Belak, Sharif. Back to the corner. Regard's three ball is off the rim. Rebound Foster. Foster on the baseline, needs some help, and got it back to Sharif. In the paint to Tavares. Oh, Tavares with two moves, got in, bodied up, missed the shot, tip around, Belak has it. Nice. Oh, great no look pass to Foster, and he missed it. Ooh. Cross finally has it for Canavan. Three point blank shots, Mike, and nothing went down. Cross and foul. That's a good call. Yep. At 7.07 to go. They're going to get Tavares, I believe, which will be his second. Getting a little chippy out there, Mike. We saw that in JB game. JB's won again tonight, by the way. Yeah, definitely. Now Vaughn throws it deep for Cross. Cross going to let a three go. It's short, but he, he knew it. Followed it. Went in. Dump it down, and Allen gets fouled. Uh, now wait a minute, now wait a minute. Slamming. That was the same thing. Where's it was the exact same thing. Where's Mark Emily when you need him? Oh, he's right here. Uh, oh, right oh, he's right there. The exact. <laughs> look at the look on Dot's face, Mike. Yeah. It's a classic. Incredulous. <laughs> he goes, he's not saying a thing. The exact <laughs> same thing. That might have even been more forceful. Yep. Cam Regard is laughing and it's Pretty funny. Memory. I better be careful. I don't want to be Mike Rice here. <laughs> Memory. Hey, where are Ruby on the mate? Where are Ruby on the mate? Interesting. Funny thing about irony. It's just so darned ironic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Allen makes them both. He's got nine. Look at that pass, Mike. Beautiful. <laughs> that's how you beat the press. Remember, good teams like to be pressed. Regard 24 got 24. Now. Regard averages like, you know, a whole week's worth of points against these guys. Allen missed it. Tavares is fouled over the back by Jason Cross. Now, I will do my math again in my head, Mike. He's got 950 points now, 50 away. So there's the pass into Foster who missed it. The tip is good. Is that Cam again? I give it to Cam, yeah. He knows where it is. That's 26 for him. They to, gave it to Tommy, Mike. They gave it to Tommy, okay. Have to make sure that's right. Regard, great job throwing it off a man out of bounds. Rams by 16 now. That's 6 16 to go. A lot of 16. So Callender gets the basket. They yep. were both there. It's mm -hmm. hard to see. The, the only reason that happened is because Tommy didn't cut his fingernails today. That's the <laughs> only reason. In the middle. Oh, they That's... get it down into the corner and cross, stepped in front, and stole the pass. Goes all the way to the basket. And a blocking foul on the Rams. That'll be on Jordan Tavares, who's taking a powder for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, Canavan has only committed three fouls, uh, three turnovers tonight. That's, That's impressive. Yeah. We've only had eight ourselves. But again, we like to keep that in, into single digits, you know? Cross missed the first one off the back iron. He'll get another. Rams by 16. 63-47. He's their leading score with 20 tonight. Rams looking to move their record to 10 and 5 before the big showdown battle Friday night. Cross gets a second. He's got 21. 63-48. Tavares, Sharif, quickly to Foster. Now it's tipped out of bounds and Highlands will keep it. Black. Trying to jump every pass, Mike. That's a dangerous hey, thing to hey, do against the Golden Rams. Foster off the inbound, puts it in. Coach saw it coming, Mike. Yep. 
One thing to see it coming, another thing to stop it. He's got 15. 15 for number 15, 65-48. Vaughn up off the glass. Regard the other way. Tavares, cross court to Sharif, corner to Callender. Uh -oh. Up and they, Maddox got that one. You can't throw that pass, Mike. Well, you can if you have maybe a little more on it, but you can't throw that pass. That's six for Maddox, and it's 65-50. He saw that one coming from there a mile go, right away. there. Put it in the middle. Foster steps back and lets a three go. He Ooh. hits it. You put it in the middle, Mike. Something good's going to happen. 18 points for Foster. He only had six at the break. 68-50. Now driving to the basket is Cross with another bucket. He's got 23. 68-52. Uh, oh, too, too tall. tall. Yep. Oh, Tommy made sure to get a little more on that one. Yeah. Between the two passes, there was one He threw one that pass one. for Foster, but it was Regard on the other end, unfortunately. Tenth turnover, and again, to Canavan's credit, they've only committed three. Hey, go Carolina. But Hollins has that 16-point lead. 4.45 remaining. Vaughn went all the way through, and what's the call? It's deflected out by the Rams. Crusaders will keep it. <laughs> Looped it back, and Maddox goes all the way through, but Lock B -Lock Lock. blocked it. Stolen, though. Yeah, and he got, he got bumped, Foster did. They didn't blow the whistle. Vaughn gets the basket. He's got a dozen, and it's 68-54. And Hines committed 11 turnovers. Tavares right in front of him. us. Dribbled into the trap. Make it 12. Maddox back the other way. Up around, no good. Rebound is blocked. Blocked as Hawkins went up with it. Maddox with a little jumper is no good. Now Hines has numbers. Here comes Regard with Foster with him. And he scores. He looked like he might have had I one think of the he was that one. Now he has 26. Now he has 26. It's official. 70 to 54. Rams by 16. Vaughn, long three on the way. He nails it. He's got 15, and Canada calls timeout at 3.39 to go with the Rams leading at 70 to 57. Michael Vaughn, the Grove City recruit with 15. Philippines Family Dining and Pizzeria was born in the Trun Heights in 1999 and didn't take long for their name to become synonymous with great food and overwhelming community support. Philippines offers award-winning burgers, wings, specialty sandwiches, wraps, and of course pizza, not just any pizza, but the often imitated, never duplicated Birdville pie made with that special super secret recipe and named in honor of Birdville section of Harrison, where Philippines is located. Kitchen is open after the game, so stop in and say hi or call 724-226-3505 for takeout. And remember, breakfast starts every morning at 8, including the best kept secret, the three cheese breakfast pizza. As Philippines family dining and pizza rear Freeport Run to Trent Heights, We'll be there Friday, Mike, and I'm going to ask them a question. You know what that question is going to be? What's that going to be? Can you order the three cheese pizza to go and take it home? You could take it home and finish baking it at home. That is doable. They okay. will do that for you. You can partially, they will partially bake it. I would assume they, they can do it with other pizzas, so the Birdville pie, they can do it. So I would assume they probably do it with that one, too. The only stumbling block for me for the three cheese pizzas. Is that you, don't get, you wouldn't get there in time. You need to do it at home, right? Right. The 8 o'clock is a stumbling block. Not for me. That's the middle of the day. I usually get up around nine and just lay there and say, what a lucky guy I am. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There we nice go. Job, Tommy. To Bingo, Foster. bango, bongo. And Foster hits the 20 point plateau for the sixth consecutive game, 72-57. Good teams like to be pressed. Now Allen lets a three go. It's off the iron, but it's recovered by the Crusaders. Here's Maddox scores. Jackson Maddox with his fourth two-pointer, and it's 72-59. Uh, Tommy threw it to space, but nobody was there to get it. See, bad mark tonight, Mike, 13 turnovers. Yeah, that's been a bugaboo, to say the least. But Highlands has 70 points in the second consecutive game. <laughs> 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 
Driving in, now they kick it back out, and Hawkins lets the three go, it's off the rim. But, put back up by Cross. He's hard to control down there. He's having a night 25. 25. Middle, Down. finish, regard, yes. three ball up. Three ball off the rim. Tommy. Calendar the rebound Ooh. though. And again. Calendar again. Out to Sharif. Ali off the back iron. And three good looks and they're well, out Belak the hallway. Belak saved it. Belak's out in the vestibule. And there's a foul call. I think they're going to get cross. That's it, Mike. Cross gets his second. Did you hear Coach Cornish? We got to get the rebound. Yeah, no doubt about it. Three point blank look that time. 11 point lead. They've cut yeah. it back to. Rams are going to call time now at 232 remaining. 72 61 Highlands leads it. They've led us by as many as 17 on two occasions. And the difference, Mike, really is the turnover. 13 for Highlands, only three for Canavan. And there's the Highlands bench. The Highlands, again, Highlands High Sports on YouTube. Games available the next day. Please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell on Comcast. The Tuesday games on Channel 190, replayed on Thursday at 8 o'clock. The Friday games replayed on the following Wednesday at 8 o'clock. So do that, subscribe, be there. That way the Breakfast Club will notify you when you're on your way out to Philippines to get the breakfast pizza. By the way, Mike, an important announcement by the Highlands Basketball Boosters. On our last home game, which is February 9th, important game against Knock, we will be inducting a member into the 2024 Hall of Fame class for the basketball. Just one this, just one this year? Just one this year, and it's a very deserving one, and happens to be our head football coach, too. How about that, Matt Bonislawski? Matt Bonislawski, 1,000-point score, and some great stories about him we'll have that night. And uh, if we're lucky, he may come on at halftime with us. I'm working on it. I thought you were going <laughs> to say, if we're lucky, he might even show up to get his plaque. Well, we got him that far. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome, Matt, and uh, he will be... Uh, well deserved, and you think of him, you always think of that West Mifflin semifinal game. Hitting that three buzzer to win the game and send the Rams to the championship game. 30 points and he had the flu. Rigar off the back rim. Rebound Jason Cross. Chance for the Crusaders to get this into single figures now. Cross dumps it down and the reverse by Allen. He is the real deal, Mike. He's got 27. No, it's Allen, he's got 11. I'm sorry, it was Allen. Regard, Foster flush on the other end. He has his average of 22 now. And that's a big one, Mike. Cross. Allen again with the follow. He's got 13. Six of them here in the fourth quarter. Yep. And now Regard is fouled. We may see that now, 147 to go. That's down here the third foul. It's okay to file Tommy. He's mm -hmm. seven out of eight this year. <laughs> Eighty-eight percent from the line. Let's do that. Tommy's done a very good job in the middle of that press tonight, too, Mike. And they've been coming at him. Yep. He's turning. He's not looking back. He's going right at him, and uh, has Cam and B waiting for him. Tavares. Boom! Oh, what great a great pass! pass oh. But Regard missed it. Got the tip, no good. And Canavan's got it. Yeah, Mike. That was a. Well, I thought we could have knocked down there. Two point blank ones there. Oh, Vaughn was thinking about it. Now he goes back to cross. They've only hit two three pointers, three. Shot is missed. Tavares the rebound. Leaking out his three guard. Against Vaughn. Goes in, up, around. Oh, he missed it again. And this is Canavan Ball at 107. We're giving chances, Mike. Hey, let's go. Now, Regard with 26. Yep. The clock is their enemy, though. Vaughn, clock winds to a minute. Gave up the dribble, got it back to cross. With a crossover move. Kicked it over to the corner. And the three is down by Rakeem Hawkins. His first basket of the night, and it's 74-68. Oh, Tavares did a great job of splitting the double team, they but then threw he threw it away. it away at 43 seconds. Rams led it by turnovers. 17. Late here in the fourth quarter. Two possession game, Mike. Cross back to Vaughn. Three ball off the rim. Rebound Tavares. And there Tavares is fouled from behind. That'll be the fourth team foul against Bishop Canavan with 34 seconds to go. Good 
So the next one will put the Rams into the bonus with 34 seconds to go. They probably need to do it right away. Yep, bring it over to Cam. To Regard. Quickly to Tavares, he breaks it. Tavares forecourt over to Callender. Callender's fouled at 34 seconds to go. Well, we got a little surprise for them, huh, Mike? Come on, 34 seconds. 88% free throw shooter. So Callender will shoot two at 33 seconds. We mentioned calendar seven for eight, make it eight for nine. And those are big shots he's making, Mike. He's got three points all in the fourth quarter. Couldn't have picked a better time, yeah. Thomas. <laughs> that makes it a three possession game. And he made a both. Okay, good job, sorry. He's nine for 10 this year. He needs to get there more. 76 to 68, 29 seconds. Cross all the way to the basket, shoots and scores. Yep, done. Timeout Canavan as Cross now has 27. Rams give up some big numbers yeah. this year in this scoring department. That's 70 scored by Canavan in this game. And that is, I believe, the most points the Rams have given up. It is. That's the most points the Rams have given up this season. But those two big foul shots keeps it a two-possession game. Mike, you look at the top five and 4A. Lincoln Park still there at number one at 12 and three. Beat Beaver by 50 the other night. They're at Amber's tonight. Say a prayer for them. Uniontown, 13 and 0, beat South Moreland yesterday, 66-54. They host South Allegheny tonight. Mentioned Hampton coming in Friday. They're third. They're playing against Butler today. Avonworth, 11 and 4, beat West Mifflin by 30. There's a theme here on they're, Monday. They're the Antelopes, you know. Yes. And Montour, 12 and 2, beat Bethel Park, a 6-8 team, 58-44. They host Mars today. So we're getting ready for the second half, Mike. And we came in with high expectations for this senior group, and we're going to see if they pay off come Friday. Canavan looking to foul immediately. Now with the discussion in the huddle. Into Sharif, and Sharif is fouled at 23 seconds. Ollie made two earlier. 74% foul shooter. Allen gets the foul. Ollie will go to the line to shoot two. 23.7 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Highlands, which led by 17 in this fourth quarter, has seen that lead shaved to six points. Again, a little credit goes to Bishop Canavan. Sharif nails the first. And he's three for three from the line tonight. 14 points, a career high for him. Troy Belak to the scorer's table. And Ali hit him both. And those never hit the rim like the first two did. Mike, so, again, we had 15 from Ali, five from Belak. That's 20 and four from, 24 points from the three guys we need to have score in a little bit. Nothing was forced either. Nope. Now back to Vaughn. He likes to shoot it off the rim. Rebound. Vaughn got it back. Goes baseline with 10 seconds. Reverse layup is missed. And a foul. Or did he just step? I think he might have just yep, stepped out of bounds. Allen got the basketball and was standing on the baseline. It's Highland's ball with seven seconds to go. Courtney, start the bus. Dear Courtney. Regard with seven seconds. Four court. All the way down, going to take it to the corner, and this one belongs to the Rams. They moved their record to 10 and 5. They beat the Crusaders of Bishop Canavan, 78 to 70. Dean, final thoughts? Well, Mike, good work out here tonight. Canavan came to play. They were very aggressive in their 2 3 zone. Got to clean up these turnovers, Mike. 14, only force and three. But uh, Joe Lafco comes to town with the Hampton Talbots on Friday. Great rivalry. Looking forward to that. Thanks to Key and Foster upstairs playing her tonight. Thanks a lot. Once again, that final score. Highland 78 and Canavan 70. For the Dean, Mike Shoma, this is Mike Pavlik saying so long.